Hershey and Charlotte, the top two teams in the Atlantic Division, going toe-to-toe -to -toe this weekend at Giant Center. The Jackers are high-flying. The Bears looking to get back on track. We're in for a fun one on a Saturday night in Chocolate Town, USA. Another draw win by Arminsky. Hunt fakes the slapper, blocks the slot with room, shoots and scores! How about it for Brad Hunt? Take the lane they give to you. Great patience, he beats Appleby. The Bears off and running. It's one nothing Hershey. I got it. And 2.30. Checkers will bring it in. Bezo behind the net looking for McDonough. Up top to the blue line instead. The Checkers will work it to Trevor Carrick. Back now. Shot score from the right side. Underneath Shepard and in and eludes him to tie the game quickly for Charlotte. John Leonard lets it go and beat Shepard low. It's a power play goal, and this game is even at one. Leonard second. Yeah. goes cross ring pass picked up. Leonard, he's got a breakaway. All alone on Shepard. Shoots it a right pad save and a beauty. Shepard kicks it out. Leonard walking in, he backhands one in front, he scores from the goal line off Shepard's foot and in. Shepard robs him on a breakaway and then he just throws one from behind the net to the goal. His sack of the period, it's 2-1 checkers with 5.31 left in the first. Trevor Carrick, five times he scored 40 points or more in his AHL career. Sent to the right wing, nice passing play. Shepard pushes across the left post, throw back in front, score. Great work by Charlotte to find Kyle Criscolo in front. They had Shepard pulled to the wrong side of the net. Criscolo's got his fourth of the year and goals in back-to-back -back games. Another power play tally has Charlotte in front, three to one with 15.28 to play. I get your side down by two. Can the power play change it for Hershey? Blue Bay to the goal line, Lamont gets around the stick check of Trevor Carrots. Pass in front, they score! Eric Dubé on the one-timer. It's a five on three power play goal. It's a one goal game, three, two. To the middle, to Frank over the blue line, tapped the head, cleared by the checkers. It was deflected, no icing. Empty net for Asblin to seal it. He scores at the bottom of the net. With 11.1 yeah. seconds to go, Rasmus Asplund in the empty net to make it 4-2 Charlotte. The Bears are going to lose back-to-back -back games. A rarity that that ever happened last year. The only time in the playoffs it's going to happen in a regular season. Checkers will beat the Bears here tonight all over by the final score.